Okay, so the next thing we want to do is set up Google Cloud Platform for a project. Now, I have already gone ahead and created a project you can see here, my taxi data logger, but you can go ahead and create your own project just by clicking up there and hitting the plus button. Um, you can call whatever you want as long as you make sure to update it everywhere where we use the project name uh, in this project. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is go over here and create some credentials for our project so that we can actually use the Google Cloud Platform uh, from web pages and scripts that we'll be using. So the first credential we want to create is just an API key. And just create it. We don't need to add any restrictions at the moment because we're the only ones that's going to be that are going to be using it for now. Um, we also need to create an OAuth client ID, web application, okay, and lastly, we're going to want to create a service account ID. New service account here. Call it my service account. Make this the project owner. Yeah. Now it's going to automatically download a JSON file that you're going to want to keep around for later when you actually need to use these credentials to uh, to run some scripts. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we need to enable um, the Google Maps JavaScript API for our project because that is one API that we're using, but it's not enabled by default. So just find it here under APIs and Services and Library, and it'll list out all of the different APIs that Google offers. Usually it should be somewhere at the top, but if not, you can search for it just by typing Google Maps. And you want the Google Maps JavaScript API. Okay, and just click Enable. Okay, great. The next thing we want to do is to create uh, and enable the uh, Google PubSub service. So let's just go down here and find PubSub. It's under big data. So we'll just enable the API when it asks us here. Apparently it takes a little bit. Great, okay. So the first thing we need to do is create a topic. You should call your topic events and just hit create. Perfect. Now, in order for your uh, messages that get published to this topic to be stored somewhere, you're gonna need to create a subscription. So just click right here next to the topic name you just created and hit new subscription. Okay, perfect. Uh, we're gonna call our subscription storage because uh, it's where we're gonna be pulling messages from to store them into BigQuery later. And delivery type is pull. We do want more options. Um, our script sometimes takes a while to pull the messages and doesn't necessarily acknowledge them, so you need to set a larger timeout. Otherwise, the messages will pop back into the subscription queue and we'll keep receiving the same messages again and again. So I set it to 600 seconds, which is the maximum. Okay, great. The next step is to set up uh, Google IoT Core. So we're just gonna find it again. It's right under here, under Big Data as well. Just click IoT Core. Again, you need to enable this API. Okay, 
Okay, there's a bit of an error there. I don't know why. We'll just try and create a Dreis registry. Um, let's call our registry taxis. Um, set region to US Central, although you can choose another region as long as you consistently use that region elsewhere. We'll enable both protocols, but we especially need to make sure that MQTT is enabled because that's what our Android app uses to publish the messages. We're going to tell it that we want it to publish events to the events topic that we just created. And we're not going to choose a device state topic. Um, we don't use it at the moment. And we can just leave the add CA certificate blank. Okay, so just create that. Grant the permission when it asks us to. Okay, perfect. Um, we'll come back here later when we actually set up our device um, in Android Studio so that we can add the uh, data logger after we've set it up. Okay, perfect. Last step. We need to set up Google BigQuery. So let's just go here. It's right at the top under Big Data as well. Okay, great. So what we're in BigQuery. We can see that we've got our project here, but we don't actually have any data sets and we don't have any tables. Okay, so first we create a new data set. Let's call our data set taxi sensor data. We don't, we don't really need to specify the location, although we could set it to US um, just because that's where our Google Cloud IoT is also configured. Um, and we can just set the data expiration to never. Okay, perfect. Next, we're going to need to add a table. So we're going to create an empty table. And the table's name is going to be log entries. And rather than enter all these manually, I have some JSON that I can just cut and paste. So let me grab it here. All right, there's my schema. And we're just gonna create the table. Done. So we're all set. Um, we basically set up everything that we need um, to allow us to push data to the cloud and later have it um, show up in BigQuery. Um, I'll be showing you how that actually works after we've collected some data. Okay, perfect.